All right, so we're actually talking about another method that could be used for what? The repair of inguinal hernia, all right? And that's the shoulder's repair surgery for inguinal hernia. The shoulder's repair uh, surgery for inguinal hernia. So um, in talking about the shoulder's, I will go from the definition. We'll talk about the steps, all right? The, you could see that it is closed in layers, right? Yeah, we'll talk about the characteristics then these are the layers right here okay so um i think this would be the most important part of this lecture all right because um uh, most staffs will actually most um teachers out there will actually want to ask you to know if you actually know the layers that are what um covered okay in this shoulders repair surgery for inguinal hernia so for the definition we said that this shoulder is repair surgery is actually a type of surgery used to treat what inguinal hernia, right? So it's actually a tissue-based repair, meaning it uses the patient's own tissues to repair the hernia without a mesh. Okay, without a mesh. All right. So for me. Um, this is uh, this is not even shoulders, right? I just brought this picture so that you guys this is a flap of a prosthesis. This one they are basically using other flaps, mesh, what, 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 just to increase the strength of the area. But for shoulders, you use the patient's own tissues. Okay, so that's why you have to do what three layers. Okay, so talking about the key steps, the steps involved in shoulders repair. Yeah, you do an incision. That's a small incision in the groin area dissect uh, the hernia sac is dissected and separated from the surrounding tissues reduction hernia sac is reduced and pushed back into the abdominal cavity uh, imbrication the weakened area is now reinforced with what multiple layers of sutures using the patient's own tissues okay closure after you're done with everything you close the incision in layers all right then talking about the general characteristics of the shoulders repair surgery just know that what you use the patient's own tissue so no mesh is used multiple layers of sutures are used to uh, reinforce the repair okay and it can also be performed under local anesthesia there's a lower risk of what chronic pain and foreign body sensation all right foreign body sensation like if you use a mesh the patients might later not be comfortable because it's not part of my body and all that especially when you don't really actually do it well okay so there's a lower risk of foreign body sensation talking about the advantages you are using several layers to cover up so there's a low chance that this thing will come back again there's a low reoccurrence rate okay and any complications from mesh will be ruled out Okay, because you didn't use mesh, so there are no what likely complications that could result from mesh. Then, because you are using the patient's own tissues, there's a quick recovery time. All right, uh, it is also suitable for this is suitable for patients with mesh allergy, or for patients that are sensitive to the materials that are used in making mesh. Okay, talking about the disadvantages, um, it, it is more technically. De demanding than repair surgery the surgeon has to be very skilled okay the surgeon had to actually what know what they doing the surgeon has to actually know the anatomy of the body all right then it actually requires more surgical expertise and it may not be suitable for large or complex hernias for large or complex hernias bro the, the thing you could just do there is just to apply a mesh okay so talking about what the layers for layer one, medial to lateral, you actually suture the conjoint tendon to the transverse fascia. Layer two, lateral to medial, you suture the transverse fascia to the inguinal ligament. Layer three, lateral to medial, you suture the internal oblique to the inguinal ligament again, right? Making it what? Three coverings. So you could see this, just screenshot this, all right? So cool. So indications now, like when to use this um, shoe dice repair method. If, if the hernia is just very small or a moderate size inguinal hernia, you might just opt in for this. Or if 
uh, if the patient actually prepare, prefers what a mesh free surgery you tell the patient that okay this is the mesh we'll be putting this mesh into you and the patient is like nah I don't want some foreign stuff sent to me then you go opt in for shoe dyes then if it is legit that the patient actually has a mesh allergy or sensitivity you might just want to opt in for shoe dyes all right contraindications when you shouldn't use this if the hernia is large or complex you don't use this all right it is a poor tissue quality or use this uh, if um, if the hernia is reoccurring when you always use the patient's tissues to repair it you might just opt in for what a foreign body that's a mesh all right so that's it about the shoulders repair surgery for inguinal hernia see you guys pretty soon